what's going on guys welcome to atrian gaming welcome back to black ops 3 rankings today's videos i have the specialist ability so let's get right into it number nine is going to be rejack now my biggest problem with rejack is i just find myself giving them a double kill like it's not that good everyone expects at this point of the game for when they see that green smoke to just either go into the smoke or just stand a little bit farther back and watch it when the game first came out, sometimes you could catch people not looking at it. The only time it's really good is like here. See, I kill the guy close and my green smoke is hidden against this guy who's shooting at the rock so I can just clean it up. But in pretty much every circumstance, it's just awful. Maybe you can get away with it in Search and Destroy where you get an extra life because, you know, if you get sniped out of a building, it's kind of like playing Search and Rescue, I guess. But I don't know. It's just really, to me, it's just not good. Number eight is glitch. And what I hear a lot about glitch is I hear it's a 50-50 ability. It's either going to be really good or awful. And I actually disagree. I think it's like an 80-20. 80% 20. 80 of the time is going to be nothing, useless. 20% of the time you'll get that amazing play. Now, like, basically, I don't really think saving your life one time is that important. I don't think it's going to lead to much. Like, in Search and Destroy, maybe, like, you glitch out of an area. But there's always that chance it's a bad glitch. Like, I just don't like it. Now, I know there's a lot of cool little instances with glitch. Like, if you get... There's some examples of you get, like, stuck or, like, a lightning strike to get out of the way. But, like, you'll see right here. I try to get out of the way of a lightning strike, and it glitches me three feet back, and I still die from the lightning strike. Like, it's too random. Right here is, like, an example of a good glitch, and it's just all luck. I was top barn shooting, and then I'm going to jump out, get another kill, and glitch back in a barn. Unfortunately, I get flashed. But this is an example of, like, a good glitch. I would have got out of danger of all three, but I get flashed. That's, like, it's so rare, though, that it took me, like, ten glitches to even get something remotely decent. And number seven is combat focus. And combat focus would be better if not for two things. One, it takes a long time to get. Now, keep in mind I'm running overclock in all these gameplays so I can get these as much as possible. And then the other one is that it really doesn't uh matter to like the higher kill streaks like if you're a person who runs uav counter uav care package or hc or dart like then it's good you'll get those after two kills but if you're a person who likes to run hater wraps gi unit rolling thunder lightning strike hellstorm any of those like more up top ones it's it's not even close to a guarantee of getting those like you see right here i just popped it and i already shoot a guy and i'm almost halfway done already so unless people line up like the best you can do is three maybe four kills unless people are just bunched up for you i'm not that big of a fan of it number six is overdrive and overdrive is either really good or really useless the modes that it is great in is search and destroy uplink and capture the flag capture the flag obviously for just capping the flag and running as quickly as you can back to their base or cutting off the lanes uh uplink is for grabbing that ball and just immediately going as fast as you can for a one or two pointer and then search and destroys because people have these little timings in their head on the map they won't expect you to be somewhere fast because it's not possible to get there without overdrive so you'll really catch them off guard but then in other modes like domination hard point like you're not going to catch anyone off guard because the other team is always looking for your team around a certain area so it doesn't matter number five is vision pulse now vision pulse takes a lot of skill in my opinion you have to let those waves go out for a while you, ha you have to be willing to sit for a couple seconds and let it scout you can't pop it and just go i'm a huge fan of vision pulse in two game modes capture the flag and search and destroy search and destroy for pushing out a bomb site and you would just know if anyone's camping there get a kill get the bomb down or if you go to like the b bomb on defense and just spread it out you'll know right off the bat if they're going a or b and you can relay that information to your team or just yourself and then capture the flag because there's always a guy camping in your base so it's not it's always a good idea to get a guy out of your base or get a guy guarding their flag but other game modes i don't think it's that great like because it gives away your information like it tells you where they are because you come up as a blip on the radar like it's kind of cool how it shows like everyone within 360 that you hit but if people are smart they're gonna know that you just used it Number four is going to come Psychosis. Now, Psychosis was even bigger when the game first came out, and I saw some people go away from it, and I think it's pretty good in every game mode still. There's two options with Psychosis. One, you can do what I'm doing and pretend to be a bot and try to get a gunfight. Unfortunately, there, he guessed correctly and killed me. And then the second way you can do it is to let your drones go, scout, and get information. You see right here, I let my drones go, and then I see guys shooting at him in the back of the map, so I'm able to get two, almost three kills out of it. Psychosis you get very quickly. It lasts a fairly long time. I'm a big fan of it, and basically every game mode I think it's good. Uh, it's just, uh, it's it's underrated I think at this point. Like people thought people are starting to go away from it a little bit. I I really like it in terms of like getting kills when I use it. 
It's one of the most consistent ones I get. Most pub players are gonna shoot at these things. Like, a lot of people have trouble telling them apart, and you, they're gonna shoot at them. Occasionally, like, they might screw you because the enemy team will just walk by them, but it's, it's great for getting information. Like, every time I use it, I either get, like, two or three kills. Like, it's great for me. I like Psychosis in pretty much every game mode. And I think more people need to use this one. Let's see. Number three is Active Camo. Now, the only bad thing about Active Camo is the second you shoot, you become visible again. It would be the probably the best in the game if it just kept you invisible for a time limit. I think that's what it's like in Halo. That's what Camo does. I'm not sure. But you'll see that gets me in trouble one time. But other than that, like you're invisible on the map. People aren't going to be looking for an invisible person on the map. They're not going to expect you. Good in every game mode. The best game mode. It's so good in hard point for breaking that hard point. It's great for uplink for when you grab the ball and you pop it. No one can see you and you can just go in for a dunk every time. Even when I watch competitive, the pros can't find the camo players when they know they're going for a dunk. And it actually takes away a little bit of your aim assist, I believe. Number two is Heat Wave. Heat Wave basically is the best ability for one-on-one -on -one engagements. You're going to win that gunfight if you don't just stand still after you use Heat Wave. You gotta jump a little bit or just move slightly to your left and right. If they're not already locked on to you and they're just gonna spray and kill you, you'll get the kill every time. Uh, you get it actually pretty quickly for how good it is, which I like. Really good in every game mode. Like, I can't see when this would not be useful to get you a kill, get in it fast. You can get multiple guys in an area, heat waves, and still have plenty of time to clean up the kill. As you see right here, I almost fall off there. That was scary. But, like, right here, I'm going to see that they're spawning up. I'm just going to jump so I'm not in their sights. I'm just going to heat wave, and I'll get the easiest two-piece of all time because nobody can move for, like, five seconds. And now, coming in at number one is kinetic armor. And I can just not see a game mode where having double or extra health, whatever it is, is not useful. Like, why would you not want a chance to win gunfights? I think this is, like, a guaranteed two-piece unless you, like, get shot from the back or you challenge, like, four guys. But, like... Either way, you're winning your first gunfight unless you miss an entire clip. Like, kinetic armor is so good in every single game mode. Like, can you imagine an uplink when you grab the ball, you already have extra health, and then you pop kinetic armor to have even more health? Like, kinetic armor is just so good. It lasts a fairly long time, which I like, and then it re it takes, like, the same as uh, a couple other abilities, like heat wave and camo to get. So I think it's good in every game mode. But guys, that's going to be it for ranking the specialist abilities. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I worked really hard on this one. Uh, next Monday will be the weapons. Thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all later.